Hello and welcome to a short introduction to the Continuity of Care Resource Toolkit. This toolkit has been made possible due to the support of the Health Foundation. My name is Julia Martineau and I'm the Continuity of Care Project Manager for the Bristol Project, working with 24 practices covering around 400,000 patients. And I'm joined by Joe Knight, who does the same job, but is working with 10 practices in Cumbria. The toolkit is the consolidation of the learning and the resources from both of our projects. So what we're sharing with you has either been developed by the practice or developed by us to support the practice. So the tools are tried and tested by general practice to help you improve your continuity. During the next couple of months, this toolkit is being road tested by our practices, and then it will be hosted on the RCGP website and available to you. In this presentation, we'll cover how the toolkit is laid out, and we'll also spotlight some of the really great resources that will be free for you to use. Jo, over to you, please. Thanks, Julia. So the toolkit is designed to guide you through your continuity of care improvement journey. It uses the six stages of project management from NHS improvement and built into that is the model for improvement and also factors within the sustainability tool to ensure that your change is sustained. You'll notice in the six stages that the over half of them are in the preparation and planning. This allows you to tailor your improvements to your practice and its patients. It then moves into PDSA cycles, which is plan, do, study, act, test cycles. This allows you to test small changes before building into full implementation. You'll notice that each stage has three objectives to be achieved before you move on to the next. Now we know that no one practice is the same as another and you'll all be in a different position in terms of your continuity of care journey. So we have this tracker that will not only help you to keep track of your progress throughout your journey, but can also help to indicate where best to start. For example, a practice who knows a lot already about continuity and has a feel for the levels and enthusiasm of continuity within their practice uh, and knows where they might like to improve continuity of care. has obviously achieved stages one, which includes the objectives 1A, B and C. So they would tick those boxes on there before moving on to 2A, which Julie is going to give you a brief introduction to. Thanks, Jo. So each of these slides are set out the same way. They repeat the aim of the step at the top and then they give you some tasks that you might like to do. And to help you with this particular stage, we will ask you some questions and they're just designed to get you thinking about uh, your journey. And we also provide some resources. And again, you pick and choose the tasks, you pick and choose the resources that fit best with you. So in this step, you might wish to look at your NHS GP patient survey to find out how you're doing about continuity, or you might want to be a little bit more granular about it and do some of your own patient surveys. And if you do want to do your own surveys, we've got some samples for you to use. And we also include a tool that will help you to easily analyse your results. This is a toolkit that we think is jam packed with resources that will be useful for you and they'll be free for you to download. Joe and I know that working with the practices, one of the things they're very keen on at the outset of their continuity of journey is to know where are they now? They want to have some measures. There are several ways of measuring continuity and, and we've included an explanation of each of those measures in the toolkit, but as well as explaining the measures, we provide two tools to measure continuity. From the Bristol project, we have a tool that's free to practices and enables you to measure continuity at a practice level and at the GP level, and it'll give you an ongoing monthly picture. The tool is very easy to use and practices run it when they want to. As a guide, the Bristol practices tend to run it around every six months. The second tool is to help measure continuity using a continuity of care dashboard, and that's been created by Morecambe Bay. The data extraction and the analysis is done on behalf of the practices and then is displayed on the dashboard in a really easy way of enabling a group or a federation of practices to compare their results 
and to monitor the impact of their improvements. There are also a number of tools that will help you engage with your staff and with your patients. We've got a guide that's been written by reception staff that will be uh, useful for hints and tips. And we've got uh, a set of tools to help patient participation groups with explaining to their patients why continuity is important. What else do we have, Joe? Throughout the toolkit, there are many resources that are based on quality improvement tools. We use these tools and explain how how to use them at a very basic level if you've not used them before, and also to how to apply them to understand the opportunities of continuity of care, but also efficiencies within there too. So from doing this project, you will also help to use these quality improvement tools across other projects and topics. For example, this is process mapping, and we explain how to map a process, but also what processes might be useful to map and what to look for. Other quality improvement tools include after action reviews, allowing you to reflect on what went well and what didn't go so well. And also things like fishburn diagrams to understand what prevents continuity of care at your practice. We have many tools and resources within the toolkit, but also some off the shelf resources that you can use. These are used often to promote continuity of care and help you to create a culture of continuity so that all the stakeholders understand and value it. Some of the off the shelf resources are displayed on the example on the screen. Uh, these include the continuity animation, which is a very short one minute video that you can use in your waiting room or you can display on your website. There's a leaflet for you to hand out to patients or again, download from your website. And there are many social media ideas for you to pick up and display on your social media platforms, all helping you to promote continuity of care. We hope that this gives you an, a flavour of what's in the toolkit and you're looking forward to seeing it live on the RCGP website. It will be available in summer 2021. Thank you.